Hi, this is Dr. Audrey Guskey with Consumer Sense. It's Super Bowl time, and I hate to brag, but I've been reviewing and previewing Super Bowl commercials for over 30 years. Here are some of the classic commercials that you may remember. Now, it started way back, even before 1984, with the classic commercial by Apple that introduced their Macintosh computer with the commercial 1984. It was a sci-fi type of a thing with a woman who looks somewhat athletic running through a movie theater with a javelin and throws it into this movie screen of this theater with all these zombie looking people who start chanting. So only run once, it was 60 seconds, but it made marketers and advertisers realize, hey, we can advertise in the Super Bowl because we've got millions, hundreds of millions of people viewing it. Is it worth $5 million for a 30 second spot? Absolutely. You've got over a hundred million people watching the Super Bowl for just the commercials. That works out to be about 160,000 for every second, but it only is about four cents per viewer. In the 55 years of Super Bowl ads, advertisers have spent $5.4 billion. Other classic ads, Pittsburgh's favorite, the Hey Kid one. It was a Coke commercial with Mean Joe Green. Mean Joe Green was coming in the locker room he looked beat up. Steelers probably lost the game. And this kid says, hey, Mr. Green, would you, hey, would you like his Coke? And, and Mean Joe says, no. And he, the kids prompted me and ask him again and again. So finally he, he says, okay. He takes it. He gulps the whole bottle down. He looks at the kid with the Mean Joe Green eyes and he says, hey, kid, catch. And he throws his uh, game jersey to him. Classic. Budweiser has been very creative. They've had frogs, they've had Dalmatians on fire trucks, and they've had the Bud Bowl, if we remember that. Cindy Crawford sort of started the sexy ads on the Super Bowl uh, advertising for Pepsi. Do you remember the McDonald's showdown with Larry Bird and Michael Jordan? This was in 1993, and it was the showdown with, with they had the shoot off. So they would, they would, challenge each other for a Big Mac. That's what they were competing for. And, and some of the times they were in a building and over the building and through the woods and, and uh, down the river and blah, blah, blah. And, and that was um, the commercial. Um, that was one of my all-time favorites. I also like the commercial with the herding cats one. And then the Xerox one, which is a classic from 1977. Sort of a little bit um, quaint, but, but a cute one. Uh, back in the day, way back in the day, the monks used to copy the Bible because there was no printing machines. So this commercial shows a monk at a Xerox machine copying the Bible. And then in the end, he he, raises, he folds his hands and he looks up to heaven and he says, you know, like, sorry, Lord. Um, that, was a, that was a great one. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Enjoy the Super Bowl ads. This is Dr. Audrey Gusky from Consumer Sense, where we make sense for you.